Stop right. blocking me, my fans miss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. Um, good evening, if that's when you're watching it. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm Claire. This is it. We have got two surprise bags from the Tudor to go out from Booth's, a very fancy supermarket here in the northwest of England. We got a bakery bag and we got a chilled bag. And we haven't seen what's in them. This is a surprise to us as well. It cost us £5 for each bag, so £10 in total. I mean, that's pretty obvious what that is. Well... Yeah, that's... That kind of screams... Baguette. Baguette. Yes. Before we get into that, very briefly, I am just going to mention Wild. Wild deodorant. They've sent me stuff in the past. I really, really genuinely enjoyed it. And they sent me some deodorant mm. refills. So there's no plastic packaging. There's just a little refill. And what you do is you pop this out of, of this into your case. And then you have aluminium-free, plastic-free, nastiness-free deodorant. And it's amazing. So I have got here Elderflower and Watermelon Spritz. Which... Yeah. Very watermelon heavy. Yes. Not a bad thing. No. Pink grapefruit and lime. Pink grapefruit heavy. I think you're gonna like this one. Rainforest Oasis. I got rained on smells substantially like... collecting these, which is why I look like a drowned rat because that smells lovely actually. Do I you want that, that one? Okay. Yes, that's okay. mine. Cool. We both use them. There's a link for money off below. Anyway, on to the booths bags. Shall we do the bakery bag first? When did it be get, get to that price? Jeez. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, folks. I can't eat any of this because I'm celiac, I'm sure. But um, Fine. Oh, my. I've got an entire baguette. £1.25 this baguette should have been. Um, Parisian baguette. Have you still got 50 pounds before? Not from Boots? No, not from Boots. Come on. That feels like a baguette. It feels like a baguette, but I think what I might do is chop it into chunks and freeze it or use it over the next couple of days with garlic bread. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I do. Garlic bread. Oh, I could do pizzas for the girls on it. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. You, you also can have pizzas. Forget the pizza. Oh, these will freeze well. I will need to put them in a separate bag. Two pounds you should have been. For four, which isn't bad, I don't think. You know? Butter or croissant? I don't think that's a bad price for four croissants. 50 pence a croissant? I don't think it's bad for a booze one. You're no. getting booze tax. Booze tax. Just fancy. If you're a sort of Waitrose, Marks and Spencer shopper, you would like booze. Jeez, oh, oh, I've had one of the next things. I, so I can't do anything about it now. It's too late. I'm not going to straighten my hair and put on makeup for this. I'm sorry. Oh, well, look, it's a little tart. I think it's custard tart. I might eat like a it's, it's not little though, actually, is it? That's it's like. It's size. That's. Yeah. Um, no, hang on, this is what it is on that. Medium. <laughs> we were both wrong. <laughs> Interesting. Medium egg custard tart. Like which custard implies tart. the existence of a large and possibly an extra large. And a 3XL. Did you just have a moment? I did. I did. <laughs> That's how much I love a custard slice. Okay. Good for you. Now. This is heavy. I need to have a little um, confession. A colleague gave me one of these at work a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And I proceeded to eat the entire thing throughout the day in just chunks. An entire mixed olive sandwich. I didn't though. even put butter on it. It literally just sat on the desk because I was coordinating and I took chunks of that olive sourdough the entire day. Wow. It is incredible. It's one of the nicest. I've got paper trouble all over me. Um, it's really tasty. Okay, um, so you would recommend the Booth's mixed olive sourdough? I recommend it. It doesn't I imagine have it's a price on better it. with butter. I didn't have any at the time. But yeah, really good dry. Eating dry is really good. Okay, good to know. Just dipped in olive oil. That's what it really needed. Some really nice olive oil to dip in. I don't have nice olive oil, I've just got standard olive oil. That's not good enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't going to buy any from Booth's, I would have had to remortgage. Strawberry loaf cake. Girls will love that. They will like that. Oh, it's got. Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh. It's Madeira sponge with strawberry sandwich with strawberry jam, smooth buttercream topped with freeze dried strawberries, more strawberries, and a drizzle of icing. It Handmade in Cumbria by Bryson's. Which <laughs> I. It's <laughs> by Bryson. <laughs> Bryson's strawberry loaf. That would be awesome. Um, should have been £4.65, so the whole bag was £5, so you've got um, your value I'll be honest, there. that is not much cake for a fiver. It is, because it's oh, denser than dark matter. Jeez. 
but still. I mean, you could do damage to somebody's face with that. Put it down by um, and there was sourdough, a synetra? I don't know what a synetra sourdough is. I've got no idea. Um, Slightly pointed at the end. I think that can go in the freezer. A hand shaped oval loaf, slightly pointed on oh, the end. Made in Manchester. Made in Manchester, all local. And finally, in this bag, we have Mr. Kipling's exceedingly good five mini Battenberg. I've not had a Battenberg like that for years. The date on them is today, but those. They they're, they're, ever. Yeah, they're not. We've, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, well, they, they will. My be. belly. Spoiler alert. What are you going to eat first? The custard tart. I'm sort of between the custard tart and the olive bread, which says how good the uh, olive bread is. Honestly, just tear it off. I'm using it. Off. Right, almost. What was the next bag? This is a chilled bag. Interesting. So this is like mixed chilled groceries. Um, they didn't have any of their meat or fish bags. Oh, the meat, meat and bags fish are bags awesome. Because they're really good. Oh, that's handy. Nice. We have some pea shoots, which we need for the animals for tomorrow. So that's good. Should have been one pound thirty-five. Oh, poked me in the eye. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Just <laughs> shocked. That's the most middle class injury I've ever heard of. I've got pea shoots in my eye. It's almost like, oh, I got a terrible laceration opening the hummus. True story. It, this is very fancy. Ulster Prince New Potatoes. This looks like a bag of seed potatoes. £3.60? They've still got soil on. Yeah, but they keep longer. For three pounds sixty, I'd want them rinsed and probably chopped and cooked, if I'm honest. 360. 360 for 500 grams of potatoes. That's like one meal's worth. For each. Freya. Just, just for Freya. Oh, I could get enough mashed potato out of that for all of us. The girls are potato fiends. Now, what I'm really hoping for in here is cheese, and I'm not going to be disappointed. There's cheese, but we will come back to the cheese. Because I'm curious, what is this? Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Are you gluten free? Three pounds ten. It's gluten free. What? Yeah. Look at the price. Three pounds ten. Creamy Madagascan vanilla custard. You're just gonna eat that with a spoon, I aren't you? Spoon. I might get a straw. <laughs> Why not just make it? Just go for it. Yes. I'm gonna have to make gluten free bread and butter pudding tomorrow. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Um, this is oh, super, oh, no. oh I thought this was cheese. That's, how much? <laughs> Jeez. Just just for the benefit of just five pounds. Five pounds for a meat and potato pie. I mean What kind of meat is it? Swan? I'm gonna eat it tomorrow, that's my lunch. Yeah, that's your lunch for tomorrow, but which is great. But... A fiver? A fiver? What's in it? What is in that? Beef. 9%. I wouldn't even say that's a high. That's almost as much as a scotch pie. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat it, but that's geez, a bit five. excessive. I do have some cheese. Garlic yarg cheese. <laughs> Vampire free household cheese. Here. <laughs> I've never had that before. £3.05 pence for... A sliver. 122 grams. Are you... I feel like I want to try the yarg. Where's it from? I don't know. I've never heard of it before. I left my glasses. I mean, it's wrapped in garlic, I think. Wrapped in something very fancy. Somebody's got a bit arts and crafts on this. It's just plastic cloth, and it takes off. No, that's a leaf of something. Oh yeah, it's a leaf of garlic. Somebody has gone whole. That I can't get into this. Probably called like. Do you want to try some yarg? Uh, yeah, because I have no idea. Do you eat the skin of a yarg? Probably not. <laughs> How do you peel a yarg? Not the texture I expected. Mm. Oh, there's the garlic. Ooh. It's like... That's nice. That's really unusual. It's like a crumbly, soft... Mm. 
I didn't eat my skin, did you? The world's tiniest bit. Oh no, it's two, it's two things. Happy belly, honey mustard and gammon bites. <laughs> How do you eat? Do you eat them? They're um, little balls. Tactile. Um, do you eat? Should have been two pounds. That's one. We're going to have to investigate this. This is a one pound ball. Do you, do you have to cook them? I don't think so. Hang on, cooking instructions. Yes, they're raw. Okay. They cook in seven to eight minutes. You want it? Is it air fried now? Yeah. yeah. They'll take like five minutes in the air fry. Well, hold on. Hang on a minute, you might be doing something else next. Oh, you can't eat these. What a shame. But me and the girls can have this. What's this? Beer battered onion rings. Me and the girls can All have All products gluten free. They're gluten free. What? Hello. What? No. Yes, look, it says. All products gluten free. We're not just going to onion rings tomorrow. Beer battered onion Oh. Or are they going yes. in the air fry now? No, do you know what? Actually, I'm not the biggest onion ring fan. This is so good. I like <laughs> onions. How many things have we been dating? Dating? We're married. Well, no, I'm saying like over the whole... Uh, are we? It's used to me. <laughs> that it was, was a hell of a party. How, like, how many years have I known you for now? Um, Seventeen. We met when I was 19. <laughs> Great math. 18 years. Yeah, I nearly 19 did years. not know you didn't like onion rings. I'm yeah. genuinely shocked by this. Okay, so there is malted barley vinegar in it, but it says here the term gluten-free means that a product contains less than 20 parts per million. The gluten has been removed during the fermentation process of the brewery. Which, okay, if you're like me and your celiac disease was caught fairly early and you're not that sensitive, you can just about get away with it. So I can eat those. Happy days. Well, oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, last thing in this bag before you try your happy balls. Thanks, folks. Is um, a beak. Greek feta and red pepper rolls. They're like kind of sausage rolls, but not sausage. Enjoy them cold or heat them up. They sound alive. They sound really nice. Greek feta and sweet red peppers with crushed chickpeas, butternut squash puree wrapped in an all butter puff pastry. And to they can't be, just they're not vegan, they're just vegetarian. It's a um, with a sun brushed tomato crumb. They sound really good. I'm jealous that I can't eat these. The girls can have them. Should have been £3.50, so we've definitely gotten well over Yeah, we have done well with these two bags. Yeah, and, and it's all really useful stuff, like none of it's going to go away. Including away. the happy belly gammon bite. Useful. Okay. Um, we'll be back in two seconds for Ed's review of his happy balls. Looking forward to it. Oops. Your balls are pained. Jeez. Guess it gets hard. They are not what I thought they would do. Are you having more cheese? Of course I'm having cheese. Why don't you give me a slice? Because you... Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you can't eat them, can you? You've got two balls and a tart. Expected. Um, yeah, they, I mean, they look good. I'm not sure if. What, what is it? Is it like a honey thing? Is it molten lava? Are you. I'm, I'm trying not to get the dirty dishes in the background. Would you pay a pound for one of those? No. No. What's wrong with it? I think it's meant to be a honey mustard, but the mustard isn't giving it a kick like oh. I thought it would. Oh. Also, I try not to get the dirty dishes that are hiding in the corner in the background. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, we do the uh, Too Good To Go surprise bags pretty regularly. So there's a playlist link down below. Thank you so much for watching. <coughs> Bye. <coughs> you okay? There's a mustard stuck in my throat. Oh, you found the mustard. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> okay, water. <coughs>